What's up YouTube? Welcome to another video of Lifestyles and Sneakers. Today we're going to be featuring the Air Jordan 4 Black Blazer. So stick around. Before we proceed with the video, I just want to remind everyone that we have an ongoing giveaway for 6 amazing Air Jordans. So guys, please help us promote our channel, push us to hit 1000 subscribers so we can already give away the Air Jordan 11 Low IE in Crocs colorway. Once we already have a winner for the Air Jordan 11 Low IE, we will proceed to the next uh, sneaker that we will be giving away, the Air Jordan 4 Black Laser. The Jordan 4 silhouette was originally released in 1989 and to celebrate the 30 years anniversary, they released the Air Jordan 4 Black Laser. Before the Black Lasers, Jordan brand have already released at least three other Air Jordan 4 lasers. The first one was released in May 2005, which is the white, parsley red, and black colorway. Then a few months later, they released the Rare Air version in August of 2005, which is the black, varsity red, and medium gray colorway. Now the third version was released 10 years later, which is in 2015, with the colorway of white, chrome, metallic silver. All of the laser printing has 3M reflective. That's why I'm kind of disappointed when the fourth version, which is the black laser, didn't come with 3M hints. Now let's have a closer look of the Air Jordan 4 Retro Black Laser. Now let's look at the upper. Basically, it's your standard Air Jordan 4 design. You can see the usual placeholder over here and here. And then your plastic netting, which doesn't really do anything. You have it in the lateral and the medial side. And of course, on the tongue. Now, at the end of the tongue, you will see this uh, different type of leather that they use and the uh, patch which has a white jump mat and a red flight color. On the heel, you have this heel tab with the white jump mat. On the sock liner, normally Air Jordan 4s have a different uh, sock liner on the tongue and on the shoe itself. However, here it's all black. But of course, you will have the typical Air Jordan marking over here, um, printed upwards. The midsole is split in two colors, black and white. And on the outsole, you have a combination of gum, black, and of course, the Jumpman in red. Even though the laser printing is not 3M reflective, I still like the sneakers. I love the combination of black leather and gum sole. Just like what I said during our Air Jordan 11 low IE review, I, I love the combination definitely. So I still got the pair. These sneakers were actually released last January and the retail price is at 200 US dollars. It's a bit pricey, that's why I think nobody really it was sitting on shelves. It was nice also because at least I could get it from retail. Before we end this video, I just want to share with you all our giveaways and uh, the mechanics for it. So 
guys, help us promote our channel. Share it with your friends and relatives so we can reach all the milestones so we can give away all these amazing Air Jordans. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And if you do, please press the thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please press the subscribe button. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Until next time.